Hey team, how are you? Uh, just here to do uh, a wee bit of a pre-fishing uh, video that we're going to let you guys see uh, today. And today's video is about uh, using um, like mechanical or like metal metal jigs and stuff like that uh, to try cold fishing. So luckily uh, Gerald from Hunting and Fishing, he's given us a couple of glow bite lures to try. So we've got this one here and uh, the grumpy fish which is this one here which um, has a skirt and bells attached to it and onto a set of hooks um, so I find that these sort of lures and stuff like that they're not traditionally used down here <clears throat> mainly because like um, just you do lose a lot of gear down here in Invercargill um, in Southland and that when you're fishing foul for cod and stuff but um, I thought today uh, we're gonna do a trial on all of these so we used um, this one here the other day it's quite a heavy lure, 140 grams. Um, the beauty about this one is that if you are in a bit of current and stuff like that, it's going to get down to the bottom nice and easy. Um, and when we were over uh, at Ruggedies and Codfish and that, um, this, this lure here was absolutely slaying up. Um, it's a nice sleek design, so it does go down and up pretty quick. Um, whereas the um, Grumpy Fish uh, tends to be a wee bit slow. It's just still a heavy lure, 140 gram again, so um, pretty substantial lures kind of thing. Um, but yeah, they're uh, they're interesting to see and, and try out. Um, and the third one that we're going to try out today is just a basic sort of squid jig. Um, so it's got some tiny little hooks in here, um, and you just attach that to a leader um, and clip on, clip off. So yeah today's challenge is going to see uh, what lure is going to produce the most fish um, and we might even throw in uh, just a bog standard bit of line with a sinker and a hook um, and some bait once we catch a fish or two uh, just to see what that's going to bring about so stand by and let's see what happens So here we are, we're uh, out at one of the cod spots we're going to try out. Today we're going to try this little squid versus this uh, glow bite that Gerald from Hunting and Fishing gave us. This has done the damage in the past, so is the squid though. So uh, yeah, we'll see what uh, see what comes of it. Ooh. It's not a lot of current today through here, which is good, makes it easier fishing. Hey. I know what I'm doing. It's not my first time. It's a wee one. Not quite legal, but uh, it just shows that these uh, mechanical lures do. They definitely do, do the work on the cod. No bait, no nothing. When you're taking these bad boys off, they obviously like to flutter around quite a bit. So you come over their head, grab them around the base there. Give him a little squeeze. Pop it out. Give him a kiss. <laughs> Back and it goes. <laughs> it's a beauty about a rental. Yeah. <laughs> my dad's. Yeah, it's my dad's car. My mom thinks it's cool. Hey. Are you on or having a stroke? I didn't even reach the bottom, it gave me a fright. Oh yeah, fuck him, he's legal. It's doable. The humble blue cod. 33 centimetres, legal size. Uh, um, oh, it's a problem when you've got two cameras. You can't discreetly get rid of your smaller one over the, over the other side. <laughs> I 
So the beauty about having a live bait tank is that once we catch it, just chuck it in, measure it up, make sure it's all good. And then uh, as we progress through the day, they've been kept nice and pumped full of water in the in the tank here. Just keeping it super fresh, super healthy. Matt Watson's trick, uh, you actually have to turn the live bait tank on, otherwise the fish suffocate. That's what I learnt uh, from him. For wondering why a fish is always dying. It's like it's got water in it. It's like, yeah, they've breathed all the oxygen in the water in about 15 minutes. Probably a handy hunt. <laughs> Matt's top tips. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Give that one to you for free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As with all good filming, uh, the last lure I lost over the side just before I got snagged on the bottom. Um, and so now we're trying the other one that Gerald gave us from Hunting and Fishing, uh, which is another wee glow bite. Uh, it's got a little hook at the base there. And uh, yeah, we'll see what we can do. The last lure was definitely working. Uh, we're getting you know, multiple bites and hookups and stuff like that. Um, interesting enough, today it was getting smaller fish, whereas uh, the other day it was uh, getting all the big cod. Um, and the little squid was getting all the smaller ones, so we'll see. Uh, we'll see what the glow bite can do. <laughs> oh, there we go! I just snagged it again. Oh. <laughs> That's it. Pick up. We're going home. Yeah, yeah. Sponsor me hunting and fishing. <laughs> I'm burning so much fucking gear. So I've caved. Going to try the squid. The uh, this one's just not not tossing them in today. I was getting plenty of little bites, but nothing massive. So. Um, yeah, we'll see what the squid squid can do today. Just a wee one on this time. Biggest one of the day. Uh, <laughs> the GoPro ran out of battery halfway through. But the squid had done its job and got a nice keeper. There's another little one. So again, squid doing its job. It's about six caught on this now. With um, four keepers. <laughs> so for the third time, Byron has learned <laughs> the little hooks on these soft, uh, on these mechanical jigs or whatever the hell you want to call them are really effective at catching cod but as soon as there's any pressure off you lose them and that's the third one lost at the boat so there was a keeper too well that's the third keeper you've lost on the boat right I'll catch it again M MPIs love you <laughs> so oh, if you lost another one <laughs> at the side of the boat again. That's better. That's better. Now we're talking. So it's five all up, but only two of them three in the bacon. <laughs> Sweet Jim, I've just got back in from uh, from our wee little mission, and um, yeah, overall not a super fishy day, but pretty um, pretty decent day all out. So what I thought I'd do is just a very quick uh, way on how we dispatch a blue cod and uh, a quick filleting guide. Bear in mind, there's multiple ways to do this. It's just my way of doing it. Plenty of uh, plenty of people will have differing opinions, but um, as you can see, the beauty about the live bait tank is that we got back home. The fish is still. Um, Still been sitting in salt water the whole time, nice and cool. So take it out. Ooh. Like I was saying earlier, come down. Have to calm down a wee bit. Come down and across the head, back behind the gill plates there, and then right in the middle of here. It's a wee soft spot. So in with the icky. You can see it. All right. So then that's killed it. When we're out spear fishing. Your nice sharp victory knives, New Zealand made. Ew. But we're spearfishing in gut, and then also go up and um, cut across up into the gill plate there, up under here. Go. So that's going to bleed it out. Uh, just because I'm doing one, because I gave the rest to Byron. Um, coming in underneath this back fin plate here, all the way down. Do you feel the bone switch? You can see why bleeding them is a good idea. Running your knife all the way along the backbone. You can feel it going along. The tail. Don't worry about the blood because that's why we kept the salt water and wash that off. Coming over, slicing off the rib cage with one nice clean cut. 
Now, I run my knife along the backbone here to about halfway up, coming in underneath the tail there, going across, flick it across, back blade of the knife, comes out. So now there's no bone or anything like that in that. It's a beautiful fillet. And then just for simplicity of cooking, just whack it down the middle. So we've got two fillets there. And then give it a good wash off, particularly if you're keeping them for a couple of days in the fridge. You don't want any blood or anything like that on it. And you want to make sure that you're using salt water. So clean the fillets up. The other side. Again. Coming in along the back here, down, so you hit the back of the neck, twist, and you can scrape, working our way along the spine, flip it across. Cut the rib section off. Obviously, usually I do this a little bit quicker, but just lying it down along the backbone there. Back of the tail, get as much meat as you can. Flip it over. Pull it off. Slip it down the middle. Voila! And there we have four beautiful fillets of blue cod that you can possibly not get any fresher as the fish was literally still a lot in salt water. So there we go team. Cheers to that and I uh, hope someone got something out of it. If not, just thanks for watching.